Okay, uh, greetings from the Bat Cave. Today we're going to do a uh, partial test of a TE Systems model 1452G 2 meter power amplifier. And I say partial test because I don't have a supply that is uh, beefy enough to supply the required current for this beast. As you can see uh, from the manual that I have here, uh, it takes 52 amps for its uh, full output at 13.8 volts. And uh, whoa, <laughs> that's, uh, that's more beans than I have. <clears throat> I have a um, HP lab supply and uh, it'll do 15 amps, uh huh, but uh, it's a long way from 52. But hey, uh, we'll we'll demonstrate amplification. Put it that way. So the setup here is that um, well, we'll start at the beginning. We have a signal generator, and it's set to 146 megahertz. Currently, the output is off. Uh, it goes up to a small power amplifier up there, that little gray box with the meter on it. That's in order to get the output of the signal generator up into the watt region. It, it'll actually produce about 10 watts, that box up there. But uh, we can't use 10 watts because the power supply can't handle the power. Okay, anyway, the output of that amplifier goes into the input of this TE Systems amplifier, and that's on the back panel. The output of the TE Systems goes into this very nice bird combination dummy load and 30 dB attenuator. Uh, it's very accurate. And uh, it's hard to believe that this is rated at dissipating 100 watts. I mean, it looks like a kilowatt would uh, uh, be more like it, but no, that's pretty conservative. 100 watt rating, of course, that's for infinite duration. <clears throat> okay, output of the 30 dB attenuator goes into a general radio 20 dB pad, 20 dB attenuator. So we have a total attenuation of 50 dB before we get to the power measurement head, which is upside down, but, you know, it's an HP 8482A, uh, yeah, power sensor, uh, which then goes into the 437B power meter, and uh, currently we are uh, sitting at zero watts, essentially. Everything is off. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is... Uh, First, I'm going to leave the amplifier out of the loop by having this switch down. And uh, it's just a pass-through at that point. Uh, we will have it set, the power supply set to 13.8 volts. This, by the way, is the power supply over here. And if you can see this, 15 amps is, is, is pretty much it. You, you don't really want to suck any more out of this thing. And, of course, it's nowhere close to 52. It is a four-terminal uh, remote sense connection, so we do, get the, uh, we do get whatever drop is in the wires is taken out. And so here we go. We'll go up here, and we'll turn the RF on. And what I'll do is I'll put this camera. Sorry about all the monkey motion here. Put the camera on the watt meter. I'm turning RF on. And what you're seeing is 1.027 watts, okay? That's our input. Now I'm going to turn the RF off, and I'm going to put the amplifier in line, and then I'm going to turn the RF on again. And what you see now is 60 watts, okay? So one watt in, 60 watts out, and you may hear the hum. The voltage has dropped slightly up to 13.5 and the amps up here at 15 okay that's the end of the supply really so the point being is that one watt into this thing produces 62 watts out now 
I have seen on the back of this, somebody penciled in 20 watts max. Woo, that seems like a lot. Uh, 10 watts, if this were truly linear, would be producing 630 watts out, which it ain't going to produce any 630 watts. Um, but at any rate, clearly it has an amplification uh, at this set of conditions of a factor of, at this point, 63. So I will take the amplifier out. I'm first going to turn off the RF just to be safe. And then I'll take the RF out, and I'll turn the RF back on. And yeah, okay, we're well, our, out, our drive creep, crept up a little bit uh, due to heating of the uh, power amplifier up, up, up on the shelf here. Uh, but we're basically at 1 watt in and, and 60 watts out. So, um, oh yeah, and the offset of, of the meter is set to 50 dB to uh, take out the um, attenuation between the uh, bird and the GR um, attenuator. So, that concludes our demonstration. Stay tuned.